Hey guys, it's Caleb from KC Indie Studios, and today we are going to be continuing our Godzilla backwards reviews. We are starting off the Showa series with Terror of Mechagodzilla. So, here we go. I, uh, I just finished watching this movie and it was pretty good. I have to say, um, the question is, was it better than Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla? So, but first, let's start out with the bad things, as always, and then we'll get to the good things. Then we'll go to remake, then we'll get to my overall thoughts, and then we'll wrap up the video. So, let's start with the bad things. Uh, first one, the, uh, even though I liked the intro so much, they had some parts in of it where it wasn't... Uh, very accurate to the Showa series, and an example is, uh, they were talking about how when the aliens came down and they were going to invade Earth, they were going to use other monsters to destroy it, and they showed, like, Kumonga, and I think they even showed Gabara, and they, as far as I know, they weren't aliens, or alien-controlled, um, so yeah, unless it was all like a, the whole time it was like a conspiracy theory where all the, where the monsters that weren't aliens that you thought were actually um, controlled by the aliens. I don't know, but uh, as far as I know, that's not true. So it's not very accurate to the past movies. And they probably just said that to put some more lore into it. But yeah, so let's get to the next one. This is kind of a a nitpicking question, but here we go. So, every, pretty much every Godzilla movie, Godzilla gets help from another monster. This movie, he was just all alone. He didn't he didn't get help from Anguirus or uh, Mothra or Rodan. Uh, yeah, he was. Just, <laughs> he could have asked for help, but I guess not. I mean. Uh, we didn't even see him on Monster Island or anything. He just kind of appeared in the city. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of dumb. Usually he gets help from another monster, but I guess not. So, yeah. Maybe that was a budget problem with Toho, but it could have made Toho more money. And maybe they, for their last money movie they uh, in the Showa series, they wanted to put in a little more monsters, but I don't know. So... Next is, okay, so here we go. Godzilla and Mechagodzilla appear really late in this movie. Um, another thing like Godzilla 2014 and a, a couple other Godzilla movies that no one else really complain about um, besides Godzilla 2014 is that they appear really late and you, like... Unlike Godzilla 2014, you don't really see any Godzilla besides the intro. And they did show Mecha Godzilla, um, but he wasn't doing anything. He didn't start walking at like at least moving until the uh, the fight scene. And same with Godzilla. So yeah, they appeared really late into this movie, is what I noticed, and a lot of it was based around Titanosaurus. So uh, yeah. Net, okay, so now we're starting with the good things, and I warn you, there's a lot of good things in this movie, in my opinion. Um, Alright, so first one. The intro is pretty long, but it's still really, really cool. The music makes it so intense um, when it starts to talk about how he f fought uh, Mechagodzilla and stuff. If you don't have this movie, you really need to get this one, because it was really awesome. Um... Yeah, the intro was long, but I I really like intros in my uh Yeah, I just think that movie intros, especially by Toho, they do really good with their intros um to the movies. This one is this one's probably even, it may even be the, the the best actually. So, yeah, they did really really good with this uh intro to the movie. And it kind of, it, it, it also summed up the other movies. 
um, even though there was that one part which wasn't completely accurate, they did really good with this intro and summing up all the other movies. So, next is, uh, y'all know how I was nitpicking about the other Wars and Heisei series, um, besides the first three, how it just, they should have just stuck with the 1984 through Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah roar. Well, this roar actually fits the Godzilla, um... I actually think the Showa Roar is fine with that suit because it actually fits it well. The the Godzilla vs. Mothra through Destroy didn't really fit very well in my opinion. So yeah, I, I, I was fine with the Roar in this one. Next is the movie. They actually made this movie really suspenseful. Um, the music... Uh, the whole aliens thing, they, they actually, they did really good on making this an intense movie. Next is the music. So, this movie may have had the best music out of all the other ones, like, period. Um, the intro music, the, like, they used, they used a, or, like, they made a whole lot of good music for this movie. And I just thought it was epic. They did Really, really awesome uh, music. Next is Mecha Godzilla. Okay, so this movie may have made me change my mind about Mecha Godzilla. I think I'm gonna bump him up in my top ten mechas list. I'm gonna bump back uh, Mecha King Ghidorah. And I'm gonna put in um, Mecha Godzilla one because he was so awesome in this movie. Um, I also liked how he was being controlled by Katsura, the alien cyborg. Um, that is the daughter of the mad scientist dude who also did a really good job with his role. So, um, Mechagodzilla had so much firepower. Um, that's something that this Mechagodzilla isn't noted for enough is that he has some really awesome firepower. Um, he wasn't at, he didn't do that much melee in this one. He ma- he mainly like stood by as a, Titanosaurus got all the hits and stuff, but he was shooting at him and stuff. So, yeah, Mechagodzilla was awesome in this movie. Yep. Um, next is... Titanosaurus is cool. Um, I also liked his first appearance when he's taking down the submarine. I like Titanosaurus's roar. He sounds kind of like a high-pitched elephant roar, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, his suit is awesome, his roar is awesome. I like how he can, like, swim and stuff, too. Um, and he somewhat, or since this movie's called Terror of Mechagodzilla, it isn't, it, this movie might not be centered around Godzilla. So, it may, it, this movie may have been made to be centered around Mechagodzilla or Titanosaurus, which is kind of what I felt like, it, that, um, Titanosaurus was kind of the main part of the movie, and that that might that may also be one of the bad things about this movie. But yeah, Titanosaurus is awesome, and we'll get on to the next thing. The main character is pretty cool. He's like a newsman or journalist, um, and he does he, he does a lot of action stuff in this movie. So he's a action packed newspaper man, not newspaper man, just journalist. Sorry, that's what I meant. So, yeah, um, he's a good actor in this movie. So, yeah, main character is cool. Next is my favorite character in this movie, which is the mad scientist, who I believe is Akira Takarada just in makeup. Um, I didn't notice until this movie because they they actually did pretty good with his um, makeup facial hair and stuff. That, like, I'm pretty sure that's Akira Takarada because they showed... Some images of him earlier, um, when he was younger, and and it I think it was Akira Takarada is what it looked like. So I think the mad scientist, his name is Fumio or something, but yeah, I think it's played by Akira Takarada. Um, please leave a comment telling me if I was wrong or right about that being Akira Takarada because it I'm pretty sure it is. Um, next is the last character that I also really liked, um, is the 
probably my second favorite character of this movie is the main alien guy. He did so good with his role in this movie. Um, they also did not bad with his uh, his voice actor. His voice actor didn't do very... He didn't do that bad in this movie. So, yeah. He did pretty good with his role. He, he was a very intimidating bad guy. Yep, so next is the fight scene. The fight scene was awesome. So much explosions and kicking each other around. And uh, there was even one part where Titanosaurus bit Godzilla snout and then lifted him up off the ground with his mouth. And then flew him somewhere else. That was awesome. This movie has... Th this movie is kind of underrated. Not. Some people... And I, I would recommend this. If you're not too big a, f a fan of this movie, try watching it all the way through um and if you if if you get bored through the movie i would say yeah just just skip to the fight scene cuz the fight scene is really awesome although there is some the the casting for this movie is really good i think you know yeah so if you if you would skip through this movie to the fight scene i understand cuz the fight scene is awesome <laughs> Although it does cut to the human scenes like Godzilla 2014 does. So yeah. Next is the last thing that I want to say is it was kind of sad when Godzilla like left the the island or, or sorry, Tokyo. It, it, it kind of like made me feel kind of sad like right here. Like right here. It made me feel really sad actually. So... But it, it, it's not that sad for me because we're going into the uh, Godzilla movies. Not we're not we're not leaving the Showa movies like most people do with their reviews. They do, they wouldn't do it backwards. I think I'm the first to do it backwards. So yeah, um, overall thoughts. This movie is awesome. And next, I'm gonna have to talk about whether in the next movie after I see Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla vs Mecha Godzilla. I'm going to have to decide which I liked better, and so far I think this movie's really good, and it's going to be pretty competitive for its um, previous movie, so yes, and remake, would I think Legendary do good if this was remade, honestly, not really, I mean, the, obviously, the classic would be better than the new one, in my opinion, because uh, this movie is too human involved, and it it involves aliens. So, I don't th and I don't think Legendary is gonna go with God's their next Godzilla series. I don't think they're gonna go with aliens at all, like at all. So, yes. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, Make sure to check out Terra Mecha Godzilla if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't also.